family. It is Money Monday. Shout out to every entrepreneur who's been checking in on my social media. Janai Thornton, our financial specialist, is in the house. How you doing, Janai? I'm good. Happy to be here. Listen, I'm glad that you are here as well because I've heard this on numerous occasions from many wives. Right. My husband trying to quit his job. <laughs> in December, for sure. He said, you know what? New year, new me. Yep. So um, let's talk about it. Before you bounce from your job, Janai, let's do it. Okay. And so one thing that people want to really think about is two things. You're either going from job to job uh-huh. or you're going from job to, or to pursue your your entrepreneurial dreams. Yeah. You know, this thing, this passion, this thing that you've had inside of you all this time. Yes. So for those of us who are just going to go job to job, um, our list is pretty short. Number one, I just want you to make sure that you go to HR before you leave. Go to uh, HR. Because you want to make sure when do your benefits end? Do you have a retirement plan? Are you going to roll it over? People have been job jumping around. They've got 401k at a job they had four jobs ago. Wow. Um, they have no idea how much it is, what's going on with the account. So I want people to be proactive about that and be able to manage that. Indeed. So is there, is there like a certain time that, it, so is this the most popular time for people to quit their job like right now? December is the number one month where people quit their job. Yeah. Right before Christmas. Right. And I new think year, it is. It's the new year, new me. You just want to come into a new year with, um, you know, new excitement, new energy. You think this is your appointed time. And I think it is, too. But are you prepared for it? We prepare for everything else. We prepare to go on vacation. We prepare we to buy a house. We do. We prepare to have a baby. And then well, we just go. Well, sometimes. <laughs> that's where we well, got to mess up. we have time to prepare. You, know, before <laughs> you got nine come. months. You got cool. nine months to get ready. That's true. Yeah. I just know some people who woke up like... You said you what? Exactly. Pregnant. Okay. My, my testimony. Right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> right. So, Janai, listen, you quit your job. Yes. Year, you know, years ago. What month did you quit? Was it December, New Year, you know, New Me? You funny. As I was driving down, I was trying to remember what year it was. It was not December, but I know it was fourth quarter for it's sure. Fourth quarter. Yeah. And like you and I have talked about, I wasn't ready. You wasn't ready. I did not prepare. I just, I had to leave. I'm like, I'm out. Yeah. And I was married, had two young children, and we paid the price for not being prepared. If you had to do it all over, what would you do different now? A um, couple of things I'd have done differently. Number one, I definitely would have made sure that I had paid down some debt. Okay. Number two, I'd make sure that my husband and I were on one accord to say, what does this mean? How could this potentially impact our family? Okay. Just to test his temperature, because because it's my decision, obviously had very significant impact on him. You know what that's like. Yeah. Definitely know what that's yeah. like. And then what can he handle? At what point, you know, is, is enough enough? Yeah. So I, I was just so focused on me. I wasn't really focused on what his temperament was. Um, I would have made sure that my family had a better understanding of what was going to happen, for that's sure. Good. Okay. Yeah, because it, it's, it's your decision, but it's kind of a joint decision, too. And then I would have thought this is going to take longer than I think, and it's going to cost more. Than That's what, what I, I think I, too. I, I was waiting for that because yes. it's going to cost more yes. money than you think. Yeah, it's going to take a lot longer than that plan you had. Absolutely, and I think I would have stepped down versus stepping out instead of quitting my job. What's the difference between stepping down and stepping out? Well, what I want people to consider is instead of just saying I'm out, I'm quitting, is it possible that you can actually work part time? That's true. Yeah. So that way you might be able to maintain your benefits. You might be able to have at least a portion of your income coming in, even yeah. if it's at, not at your current company. Maybe it's at a company similar to the area of your interest. But I assure you, you're going to want that reoccurring income coming in because that's the thing. You're going to quit your job, but your bills have not changed. Yeah. Janot the- Thornton, um, you talked about this is a season of and. Right. Not a or. So talk a little bit about and. Well, what I was thinking about as I was driving down to the station today was how, you know, when I think about you, you know, there's Willie Moore Jr., the radio personality, but there's the author, there's the speaker, there's the um, person who sells product. Mm -hmm. When you wrote your book, you couldn't take three months off the station because you just wanted to focus on that. (laughs) That's true. You still had some late nights. It was some late nights. You still had to come here every day. You were still speaking, Mm -hmm. you know, and so we have to learn how to do more than one thing at a time and be committed and be disciplined to do that so it might mean late nights it might mean weekends and so that will let you know if you're truly ready for entrepreneurship because that's what it really means you don't get to just do the nine to five it's not just fun you know you might not be able to watch tv for a year because you are committed to making your dream come true that's good stuff i want to talk to you a little bit about 
five things you should do before you quit your job and follow your dream of entrepreneurship. Just five, just real quick, tangible tips for somebody who's listening right now who who literally already called their cousin and them was like, girl, I'm done with this. Wait a minute. Wait till I go in there next week. I'm sure going to tell out, them. Right. I'm telling them I'm gone. But talk to them about them five steps they need before they make that move. Um, number one, know your funding options. How are you going to pay for this new business? So, wait a minute. I'm going to tell you what they're going to say. Well, you know, the Lord said. Right. <laughs> That's how they do me. I'm like, are you sure that God said? Like, yeah, God told me, and I know he's going to provide. I'm like, he told me too. I lost my house before before he provided, but go ahead. Right. Know your funding options. Number two, you need to have a budget on what it's going to cost to run your business, but also how much does it cost to run your life? That's true. Yes. Um, Number three, um, I encourage you to pay down some debt. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Um, Number four, what are you willing to downsize or give up completely? Okay. Yeah, because... We all know in that season, some things may have to go. People want to start their business and they want to live the exact same life that they're living right now. Ain't going to happen. It doesn't happen that way. I wore that same jogging suit six months. <laughs> I'm for real. It's still hard for me to go shopping now. I feel like $180 for a jogging suit. Right. You know right, what right. I can do with 180 Right. And then another thing I want people to think about is what are you going to do about insurance? Because even if you don't have disability insurance, you might not have a 401k, I'd like to see that you at least maintain your health insurance. That's good stuff. My wife made me get health insurance. Good. That was that was a, that was a negotiable for me. Right. I was like, well, we're just going to trust God for four months. Right. And, and trust she said, him. She was like, no, 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 we no. have to have health insurance. I was like, where did God find? Lord God, the woman that you sent to me. But I thank God because during that season, Peyton had an incident. Really? And he ended up hurting his head right. and I had to take him to the emergency room. But luckily, my wife, the Lord, had uh, spoke to her uh, about keeping that health insurance. I want to talk to you just really, really quick. Sure. Online, people say, how much mm. should I save Ooh. before I stop working? You know, that's a really good question. And it depends on what your risk tolerance is. Yeah. Some of us can... Some of us can handle stress more than others. Some of us, and that the less stress you can handle, the more money you need to save. So, yeah. as a standard, people say three to six months. Three yeah. to six. Yeah. And again, I don't know about you. It took my business longer than six months before I was making money. Lord, it took my business so long. I was like, God, did you really say me? <laughs> I should have kept singing. Uh, R and B. If it was gonna take this long, like I thought, soon as I quit, right. like okay, God, I'm doing the right thing. Right. Oh, right. And then the money was gonna come. The Red Sea was gonna part. That money was gonna fall down. Man, them churches was giving me crosses for coming. <laughs> they was like, "Let the Lord be with you." I was like, "My wife can't cash this." <laughs> She going to look at me funny when I return right. if I don't come home right. with well, a chick. When well, you think about it, 64% of entrepreneurs actually start their business with less than $10,000. Wow. Yeah. That's good. So it's just something to think about. But keep in mind, 80% of businesses actually don't make it past the first five years. And it's really because they are not financially able to make it through. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Stick around. It's the Willie Mo Jr. Show. Flutter. <laughs>